Okay, so it's kit day in my scrap room and I am making an out with the old video, which is my kind of month in review of scrapbooking. It's my, it's my video where I show you guys what I made this month with my kits and what I have left over with the kits. And so it's sort of like out with the old and then in with the new. In with the new part is my video share where I, uh, my kit share video where I share the contents of the kit with you guys. So I just shared the contents of the kit and I don't know what order I'm going to upload them in, but my in with the new or kit share video is up and available soon. Uh, so I will show you guys what I did for the month of March and basically my month because I live in Canada runs from the 15th of the month until the 15th of the next month so this is from around the 15th of March to the 15th of April so uh, well to the 13th of April so a lot of these layouts actually almost all of them I created at the Moncton Crop and Create. So I have a share video that's quite elaborate, so I'm just gonna flip through them fairly quickly. So we have Have Fun Every Day. You can check out my Flickr because the there are close-up photos of all of these layouts on my Flickr. Uh, Cinderella. Um, so this one, let's see. This one was made with the Rivers and Roads kit. This one was made with the Rivers and Roads kit. This one was made with Good Day Sunshine. This one was made with Good Day Sunshine with a tiny bit from the Rivers and Roads kit. This one was made for, with the Rivers and Roads kit. It's called Nixie Sticks. This one was made without a kit. This one was made with the I Am collection and it includes this interactive feature with the hidden journaling. So I'm just going to put that back in the little pocket that I made for it. Hang on. Oh no, that's not the pocket. I have a lot of layers here because I put this this layout on a on a piece of cardstock as well. So that's that one called I Am Kicking in Anxiety. And then I have a layout that I started but haven't finished yet. And so um, I'm gonna carry this forward into my April, but I just wanted to show you that I, you know, it took quite a lot of time to get these pieces of paper all put on there. So this is one that's in progress. And uh, so and it's also not from a kit, so, um, and then I'll show you the rest of the things that I did. Uh, this is a layout that I did today using the Good Day Sunshine kit. So there is a process, there's no process videos for any of these, but there is a share video. Um, and then there is a process video for this one, uh, which is called Pause. I use the Good Day Sunshine kit. And then this month I also, uh, created three pages including one that has a flip uh, part to it so three pages so this this and this uh, in my pocket pages that I just put right in and this was from last month so this I didn't do this month so these are all of the creations that I made uh, during the month of March which actually ran from mid-March to mid-April so now I'm going to show you guys what I have left from my kits. I normally get one kit and one add-on, but this month I got two kits and two add-ons because I was traveling to a crop and I wasn't sure how much scrapbooking I would do. So here is my Rivers and Roads leftovers. So there's lots of leftovers. I did not kill this kit at all. Um, as you will see, I have tons and tons of leftovers. So I think I have all of the cardstock. I don't think I used any of it. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I have all of the cardstock still left. So you get three pieces of cardstock in one kit and two in the other. So I didn't use the cardstock. And of the pattern paper, I have. This piece is uncut, this bow bunny piece. And this piece is uncut, this piece from the Serendipity collection. And then the rest of them, this has a chunk out of it. This is about half gone. The transparency, I had a hard time using this transparency. I'm not in love with it. You're not gonna like everything in every kit, right? I've got half of this used and a chunk of this used, about half of that, and then some scraps. So 
This kit is so has so much left to it that I'm actually not going to de-kit it. I'm going to put it right back in its bag and keep it and use it some more. So then there's, uh, I use quite a few of these little label stickers from Webster's Pages. I did not get a chance to use the Rivers and Roads stamp set. It has a bunch of phrases. I'll put that in with my stamps. Uh, these are Heidi Swap chipboard stickers. And I use some of them, but not too many. These are craft market stickers, and they're from Crepe Paper. I think it's from Crepe, Crepe Paper, and I only used one of them, so I'll keep those intact. And they came on a sheet of two, and I used a couple of numbers, but still have lots left of those to use. Some Heidi Swap gold words, uh, some Ellie Studio pink letter stickers, some thickers in gold foil. I use these a lot. I didn't use these. I was going to use them, and then I ended up using a different letter sticker instead. These will go in, yeah, I'll keep these in the kit too. Some, let's see, what have I got here? So I think I used a couple of the pieces of enamel, but not all of them. So I still have these enamel pieces left. They're really cute. And I have all three flare badges left, which is unusual. I usually use at least one of them. So there's that. And there were these really pretty wood veneers. This one says spring and the other one says grow. They were really cute and I didn't use either of them. And then there were also these other die cut pieces that I also didn't use. So I'll hang on to those and put those there. Didn't use any of these round stickers from Heidi Swap. They're layered. There's kind of a sticker in the middle and then a circle, uh, kind of an outline circle sticker too. So I didn't use any of those. I used a couple of these puffy stickers. Um, I didn't use the bows, even though I love bows, and I used a lot of these flowers, considering that it's me and I don't usually use flowers. And then in here I have the stencil, which I didn't get a chance to use yet, and I have all of these Dear Lizzie die cut pieces. And I did use them, but I didn't, but there's still lots left. So... As I said, I didn't kill this kit enough to put it all away, so normally what I do at this point is I would have far fewer leftovers and I would be going through them and deciding which things go back in my stash, which things I might hand on to somebody else, and which things I might just kind of toss if they're, you know, if I only, if there's like one sticker left, I might just toss it. Um, but in this case, as I mentioned, I have I think I'm going to hang on to all of it and just keep it as a kit. And that way, if I go to somebody's house to scrapbook or if I need to kind of grab stuff, some, every once in a while I'll even bring scrapbooking stuff to work with me. And so if I, if I need to do that, I have a kit that I can grab pretty easily. I just need to get this paper so that it's all pointing the same way so it'll fit back into the, and this, these stickers can go in here. So this bag is actually not included in the kit. This is from Freckled Fawn, from their embellishment kit, but I, um, I just kept the bag from it and I use it for going to craft. So that's, it just holds all of my embellishments together nicely. So I will put this on my shelf as a kit. Then this is what I have left from the Good Day Sunshine kit. I didn't, I didn't do a great job of killing this kit either. Let's see what I've got here. So I've got a full, oh, I've got two full pieces of pattern paper here. One from the Bella Rouge collection and one from Kaiser Craft, the Shine Bright collection. And, hang on. Ooh, I love this paper, but I didn't use it, darn it. Also from the Kaiser Craft collection, and then this exclusive Scraptastic paper with this pretty pattern. I didn't use, I've got three pieces of cardstock left, so that means I must have used two pieces. So again, buying two kits 
and their add-ons. I was pretty sure that I wouldn't kill these kits, but I wanted to have an assortment of things to bring with me to the crop. So I've got a chunk of this and a chunk of that and chunks of this. And you know, I think I'm going to, even though I do have a, I have a fair amount of this, I think I'll, I'll hang on to this kit too. I'll keep it intact as well. So I have these letter stickers from We Are Memory Keepers and letters from Bella Rouge. I used both of them, but there's still lots left. Um, sprinkles from Doodlebug Designs. I didn't use too many of those at all. And then as far as embellishments go, I didn't get a chance to use these cork embellishments. I did use the enamel embellishments, but not all of them. So I'll hang on to these. These are the, the enamel embellishments, or resin embellishments, or whatever we call them. So I didn't get a chance to use all those, so I'll put those in here too. And then two pieces of flare I didn't use. Um, I've used one of these. One of these bows, but not none of the black bows. And I used one of these three flowers, so I still have two of them left. I didn't use this diamond, and I didn't use the sunshine die cut. I used a bunch of these, but so much comes in a pack that you can't even tell that I used a bunch of them. And I did use some of these stickers, but I still have lots left, as you can tell. So I'm going to put all of this stuff back in the bag. And... I'm just going to put as much of it as will fit in this. So normally at this point I'd be telling you what I'm going to do with all these leftovers, but I'm just keeping them all together. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay. So all of those embellishments go in there and then these pieces of paper can all go in here so hardly killed these two kits but I will use them again I'll just uh, package them up and keep them that is what I did with my kits, and that is all of the stuff I had left over. So probably overkill. I probably didn't need to get two kits this month, but you're never sure how much you're going to do when you go to one of those crops. And I did do um, eight or nine layouts out of those kits. So thanks so much for watching, everybody, and have a really great scrappy month.